Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Surgeon 1 video. And today we're back at the Swiss Surgeon 1 test lab. Yes, I call it the Swiss Surgeon 1 test lab. And today we're gonna find out how much runway the Antonov really needs. And if you know my channel for a bit longer, you know that I already made some kind of video like this, but with the A380. And now today we're gonna step up the game with this Antonov. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of runways here. They all have a different length. We're just gonna see how much runway this Antonov needs to either take off or land, depending on the situation, obviously. So here's our Antonov 225. I know it's a nice airplane, but let's go ahead and actually take this butter boy off. Well, as we can see, we're starting off with a grass runway because... I don't know. The Antonov is actually kind of struggling with this. It really doesn't like the grass runway, but we have just taken off, which is pretty good. So yeah, this runway is about 10,000 feet long. Now this is our next runway. As you can see, it's a bit shorter, but it's still not very short. This runway is still definitely enough for, for commercial aviation. So no worries about that. Full power takeoff. And yeah, let's see. Okay, come on. I think we can already... Oh, voice crack. All right. Oh, that was close to a tail strike, but we made it. No worries about that. <clears throat> so the next runway is also a bit shorter, but still normal for commercial aviation. Full power. Yeah, you don't want to stand behind those six engines. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think we can rotate. Rotate. Oh, that is close already. I think we're gonna have a problem with the next runway. Now, here we are at the fourth runway of this video. Now, on the third runway, we already had issues taken off on this one. Barely rotate at this location. Full power. Also, we got some flaps. Oh, wow. Okay, the end of the runway is already here. Oh, we made it. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Wait, can we fly inverted? What am I doing? So the next runway is 900 meters long, which is less than 3,000 feet. So this will actually get close now. So yeah, this is the runway. I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna run into some problems here. Definitely. But let's use every inch of this runway. Push back a little. Slav style as well. Okay, let's now go for a full power takeoff. Oh, please don't. Oh, rip. <laughs> okay, thick enough. Come on, man. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. And we can't. We can't. We're overrunning. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're still not taking off. <laughs> well, the next runway is 600 meters long, which is about... I don't know. That might be 2,000 feet or something, but let's actually land on that runway now. We might have a better chance at surviving there. Oh my god, we have to turn right a lot. Oh, hell no. Oh! As long as we stop. Stopping. Stopping is our goal. Stop. Uh, I mean, I mean we kind of touched the runway once. I think that counts definitely. So our next runway is 300 meters long. That is about a thousand feet or something. Yeah, this is not going to work out. <laughs> Well, let's try to take off at this really small runway now. Full power, as always. Flaps full. You can do it! Yeah, we did it! <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this plane doing? Now, here's the runway that we all fear. The Helipadus Runway! Runway... Which runway is it? Runway 03, is it? This runway is feared by all the Antonovs in this world. I mean, Antothex. Now, wait just a second. Um, I'm gonna have to do some stuff. Now, let's take off. Let's try not to overrun. Wait, is this actually possible? I, I wanna know. Oh, come on. We can do it. Hell yeah! This is beyond physics. Alright, as we're a helicopter now, we're actually flying backwards, aren't we? This is really beyond physics. Okay, let's, let's try to land now. I just want to try. No! Thanks for watching this quick video, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Follow me on Instagram. Yes, please do. And, um, good night. I think I've already said that.